same time, you can get gen rush on this map quite particularly, at least in my opinion, That's and what really I've seen. True. Yes, you can. All right, here we go. Dumbo, you're in charge. All right, sweet. It looks like they're just going to set up. I'm wondering if they have... Oh, well, we can see it on the screen that they have corrupt. And they're just I'm wondering if they're going to wait it out or what they're going to do. But, so the killer is the Oni. Now, for the Oni, he's going to really just want to get an early hit. He does find already, so there's no hiding now. <laughs> they're just going to try to get to a safe loop, drop a pad on him so that he doesn't get an early hit and get his power. He just wants that blood, but they are... Oh, rejuvenated. He gets that early hit. He just needs another hit, and he's going to basically have his power. Then he can kind of start snowballing. And this is really what he wants during the game with Corrupt still up. Oh, this is going to be a down right here. He's going to try to fake the window. Gets the hit. Very well done. There's a scream around there, so I know what perk that is. I'm not going to quite say that right now, but that's going to help him locate other survivors. Uh, he's going to get his first hook before even a gen is done. So, again, another strong performance so far. I guess three people are going on that one gen right now, which I'm not sure that's a great strategy, but they're trying to pump out just one gen early on. And I'm not sure if he's going to that gen. Yeah, he's still kind of staying by the hook, trying to gather some blood. He wants to get his power, but he's not quite there yet. They do finish one gen. One gen for one hook, and that's not a bad trade-off in my opinion. Oh, it looks like they're kind of just waiting it out, going on another gen. He's just kind of patrolling the area by the hook. I'm not sure why he's doing that exactly. He does find someone right by the killer shack. Looks like they used a nice sprint burst to get around it. They're going to go try to bait the window. He does go go for it. I think he might be abandoning the chase, though. Yeah, he's kind of just... He's still on this chase, I guess. He's staying by the hook quite a bit. Meanwhile, they're going to be pressuring those gens quite hard. I imagine yeah, the gens probably like finish here. Yeah, looks like he for a second there, and uh, maybe yeah. he was trying to proxy camp a little bit. Not sure. Not really sure. Got some borrowed oh. time there. Borrowed time, yeah. I think he was just kind of proxying the hook a bit. And gets the pal throw. Oh, and the stun. Very nice. He's going to just book it to Killer Jack to the safety. And I'm not sure if he's going to follow. No, he is. He's kind of committing quite a bit here. While they get on this gen, he does get a hit. Now he has his power. That's what he wants. He's probably just going to pop that thing right away. Nope, he's going to mind game the Killer Jack. They have Another already popped gen two gens. So they're being quite fast. Yep. Oh, I think he gets the down here, though. So it's going to be his second hook, likely. Let's see. Gonna bait the window? Nope. Very well done. Good job. But I'm not sure if it's gonna be enough. We'll see. They're probably on another gen right now. And he's on the opposite side of the map where they're gonna be. Yeah, that's one's at like 30-40%. He does have his power, so I imagine he's gonna want to pop that and just sprint to the other side of the map. One gen's about to be done. Is that two gens? No, that's just one gen. Alright. They've done three gens now. He's gone two hooks. I mean, the survivor's in a really good spot. He's gonna use his power for the first time. He needs to make a lot of use of this. Yeah, no, my bad. My bad. I was talking quite a bit there. All right, they're kind of being a little cautious right now. Ooh, just gonna kind of play the tree right now. But I think he's gonna get the down here. Yep, that's caught him out in the open. Very well done. I think he's gonna yeah, plug. This is gonna he needs to have a lot he, of pressure he, right now. Yeah, this is gonna be where he has a chance to maybe snowball that pressure here. And I think that's what we really want to see with this uh, Oni. It's just him just snowballing people down. And he is trying to do that, but they are just popping gens. They're still getting work done, even with all this pressure. <laughs> oh yeah, four gens done. Only one left. He does have one person slugged and one on the hook, though. So, I mean, not a bad spot, but his power is gone now. I imagine he's just gonna hook. Yeah. This would be the time to save right now, but they're both on the opposite side of the map, I think. And he's going to hook them both close together. Or is he not hooking at all? Oh, he's just going to keep them both close to each other, and he's going to kind of proxy this area. But they're probably just going to finish all the gens, I imagine. I'm curious to see what the strategy behind this is. Yeah, the two of them are just kind of grouping up together on the It looks like gems. the strategy is just literally camp the dude. I don't think that there's any actual yeah. uh, strategy happening other than just camping. I mean, not that there's anything wrong with that. I just, I, I'm curious if there's actually a strategy to utilize this death, like a confirmed kill, to maybe force them all into a pressure situation. Because then once you, once you have it's, them all doing that, it's harder to, you know, maintain the gens. But they're already almost done, so I don't know. Yeah, it's too late. It's too late for that. Like, maybe yeah, earlier on, that's why he was proxying earlier. But they popped the gen, that's the last gen. Now they're just going to probably 99 that gate and maybe just leave him on death hook? Yeah, he's going to die here. 
Okay, so he gets one confirmed kill, but he was just kind of proxying it the entire time. Didn't get many hooks overall. Yeah, he also doesn't nice get as many points for that because of the fact that they went through, what was it, two stages? Uh, so I, I don't think, think two, that that's, yeah. you know, that's quite a few, that's quite a lot less points than you would have gotten if you had just gotten the hooks. Yeah, exactly. I imagine if he gets it down, he's just going to kind of camp it again to have two kills, but that's still not as many points. He will get it down here, imagine. Oh, nice. I think they kind of, the survivor movement made him confused. Oh, gets stuck on the wall. That's unfortunate. Oh, kind of runs back into him, though. And, oh, bumps into a rock? I was kind of confusing to see right there with all the colors. They're opening, the, I think, two one gate right worked there. On this one open. Yeah. Nice. This this player right now is doing a really good job of confusing them. Oh, and there they go. They go down. Both gates open. I think they might just leave. And that is an extra point for both gates. Yeah, they're just going to leave. Yeah. I can't say I blame them. That's the right call, I think. You just leave there and take your points. Take your escape points that you can get. Yeah. He didn't get as many points just because he was kind of camping the hooks a bit. And they just did all the gems and got out. Like, I'm curious to see how many points he got in total for that match with that strategy. I'm not sure if that was the right choice. He only got to pop his power twice with Oni, and that's... It's not great, Brony. Yeah, that is a uh, so I guess we'll... that is a very uh, not not great score. Thank you so much, Demo, for doing that. We'll we'll come back to you in just a moment. So uh, not as great of a score as I think we were expecting to see today from uh, CDM. This is this is something that I I, I kind of mentioned before, and I think Demo, you were maybe on on board with that. Sam had some things to say, but essentially what we saw was rejuvenated trip, a killer who we have never seen from CDM playing as killer today and i don't know if that was a good choice by them however maybe this was just a warm-up maybe he was just a little pressured we don't know however we do see a score of twelve thousand from him eight thousand eight thousand sixteen and seventeen thousand so only two of the survivors are able to get that extra point for their team uh, you need at least sixteen thousand points in order to get that extra point and for the killer they get i believe it's one extra point per 4k uh so twelve thousand divided by four would be uh would be three so they get three extra points for that and so we also have corrupt intervention infectious fright brutal strength pop goes the weasel that's just taking a look at their build there uh very standard build on oni uh, just lets him get through pallets a lot faster you can find people quicker whenever he downs them and pop goes the weasel lets him just run around and pop gens so, i mean there's really not much to say there it's a very standard oni build and he also brought the lion fang that's... which comparatively increases the duration of blood fury and uh the activation charge rate increases as well so Go ahead, uh, Domo, you wanted to say something. Sorry. I, mean, I was going to say I like playing, and that's almost exactly what I used. But with Brutal Strength, he was kind of proxying the area, so I'm not sure why he even used that per se. Because with yeah. Brutal Strength, you just kind of want to get all the pouts down out of the way. And he wasn't really chasing people in new areas. He kind of just stayed by Killer Shack the entire time. So, I don't know. Confused. <laughs> I'll say that. I'll get you funny. Thank you, ASMR Dwight Bones. We'll come back to you in a moment. All for demo. I appreciate it. Thank, thank you so much for uh, doing the commentary.